So guys, in this video, I'm gonna track this sunset one mission. The link to download this mission will be in my description, so you can download this file. Okay, there will be mirror link. Click in this link and download the file. Okay, there will be a zip file. As you can see, this is the zip file that you downloaded. So click right click and there will be WinRAR and click and extract the file. Okay, you can use any kind of extractor to extract this. So I'm here use the WinRAR. Okay, so if you are new to Kali, then you will understand a lot in my video. With my video is always comes in basic. So if you don't know how to use, then you can know by watching my video. After extracting, you can get the OVA file. Double click that OVA file. Okay. I already installed that. I already imported this OVA file. So you have to click finish in your machine. Okay. And you have to be very careful about the next step that I'm going to talk. The Kali Linux that you're using and the sunset machine that we are going to crack will be in same network. So as you can see, it is in Bridget network, the Kali Linux that I'm going to use. Okay. And the sunset machine, which when you go to settings and uh, network, then you can see it is in Bridget adapter. Okay. Both need to be in same network. Okay. So let's crack. So the first step to crack a device is to find the IP address of that particular device. So here I'm opening the terminal, right? So I click clear. Yeah. In the terminal, I'm going to enter a command called sudo arp hyphen scan minus l. When you enter sudo arp scan minus l and press the enter button and enter your Kali password, then you can see the internet connections available in the network. That is, the device is connected to your network. Okay. So as you can see in the MAC address, there will be 08. That means this is the device that is connected to this virtual machine. So we are we know that we are using virtual box, right? Oracle VM virtual box is what we are using. So the Oracle VM virtual box MAC address will be like, I think, yeah, the 08, the MAC address with the 08 will be the machine in the Oracle VM virtual box uh, sunset machine. Okay, I hope this clears. Um, when you enter this to sudo scan, uh, then you can uh, see uh, there will be three devices connected. But I am going to take this. This is the sunset mission's IP. Okay, this is the sunset mission's MAC address. Okay, and the 08, not the number. When you found a 08 number, then it will be your mission uh, when you start it in virtual box. Okay, you can. This is the IP address. So I am going to copy this IP address. Okay, so the next thing. Uh, the first thing what we uh, do is find the IP address of the machine. So I found the IP address of the machine. The MAC address starts with the 08 will be the IP address of my machine. Okay. The next step is scanning using network mapper. And map is the network mapper. And minus S stands for service. Capital letter V stands for service version. And paste the IP address. You can uh, paste using control shift and v to paste the ip address press the enter button will scan that so as you can see there will be two ports open in this particular machine which is ftp and ssh and the version is shown here okay the next step that we are going to do is to attempt this there will be an ftp port open right so if the ftp has anonymous login allowed i have to check if the FTP port is anonymous login supported. To check that, I'm going to open a new tab. Uh, for that, I'm pressing Control Shift and T. So there will be new terminal, right? So Control Shift and the plus button to zoom. Okay. In the in the there, I have to check the FTP is anonymous login. If the FTP has anonymous login allowed, so then I enter FTP space and the IP address of the target mission. Target mission is the mission that we are going to attack. Okay, press the enter button. There will be, you can see that name. Name will be, we are going to perform an anonymous login, right? So you have, the name will be anonymous. Yeah, it is working. User OK, send password. As you can see, the password will also be anonymous. And enter, it will not display in the terminal. Okay, enter anonymous and Press enter as you can see login was successful and we are now FTP 
and one of us log in into this server. So you have to play, uh, type ls to list. Okay. As you can see, there will be one file which is called backup. It's a file which is in this FTP server. To download that file, you have to enter get backup. And you enter that the file is downloaded in your machine. Okay. So as I can see when you open your Kali, as you can see the backup. So this is the file that I downloaded. As you know, the username of the mission will be the sunset. When you open this will be our mission we are going to attack. So you can see sunset login. That means the username is sunset, right? So you can see the sunset here, right? So this is a password hash. Okay, this is a password hash. We need to crack this password hash to get the real password of sunset. Okay, for that we are copying the sunset's password. Okay, and creating a new folder here. No, 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 no. I'm going to create uh, open this uh, notepad. Okay, this will be the mouse pad in this machine. Okay, and opening the mouse pad and control V to paste the password and saving the file. And I'm going to save this file named past dot txt you can give any name that you want okay i save this name uh, save the password uh, name as past dot txt as you when you open this then you can see the file that you save okay the next thing that we have to do is to open another terminal that is control shift c then it will open okay to drag that past dot txt and the john pass Okay, then my I already tried this. That means it's a loaded loaded one password hash because I already tried this. So that is why this message is showing. If you enter John password txt, then it will take some time and your password will be resulted. So here, if you are also encountering this type of problem, then you need to be a root user. Okay, um, to be become a root user in Linux, you have to enter sudo su and enter the password of your mission and run the command again john pass dot tip there you can see working yeah let's wait some time so as you can see using default input encoding and loaded one password hash i already tried to crack this mission so that is why it is showing like this if you are new to this mission and if you are the first time to crack this mission then maybe it will not uh, show in your mission okay so if you face an issue like this like a loaded one password hash but no password has just left to crack this is an issue where the password is not shown but it is saying password hash is loaded right if you are also encountering this issue then you need to be a root user okay and run it as a root user so that you can you can get your password okay you can see proceeding with the incremental ascii so the password will be listed within some seconds okay you have to wait some seconds so the password will be listed okay as you can see it will be the cpu is utilizing when i enter john tool in my machine so the system may get and look at this the cpu usage will be higher right it's 90 100 percentage cpu utilization so this process taking a lot of time so and it is utilizing a lot of cpu right so i'm explaining the first step what we do before getting uh, let it run okay so i am re-explaining everything okay first we start the machine and we need to be uh, very careful about the machine uh, both the machine will be in this uh, same network so here in the settings as you can see the network is in bridget and also the sunsets network is also in bridget you can use bridget net whatever you want but both your machines will be in same network okay not that point okay then what we do is scan using sudo arp scan sudo arp scan minus l so when you enter the password you can see a lot of uh, devices connected so the mac address starting with 08 will be our ip so this will be the ip address of our target machine 
So the next step what we do is nmap scanning nmap minus sv for the service version and the IP address. So in that scan we can find that there will be two ports opening which is port 21 and port 22 which is the service FTP and FSH. Okay there is a version shown here okay. So as you see that FTP is open we have to test if FTP supports anonymous login okay for that we, uh, we enter FTP space the IP address of our target machine and you can see the name button when you enter anonymous then you can see user OK that means anonymous login supported in our FTP okay and we enter the password same as anonymous and the login was successful when you are inside the uh, FTP when you enter LS as you can see there will be a file in this mission which is called backup okay the file has this permission okay so we use get comment to download the backup file into our machine so we use get comment to download it and our downloaded file will be available in our machine which is in form kali okay when you go to kali our downloaded file will be available okay as you can see the backup file will be available in here so we know the uh, username will be the sunset as you can see the sunset's password hash will be there so that we copied this password hash and uh, created a new password uh, uh, pass.txt file and pasted this uh, hash okay then we use the john tool to crack the password as you know uh, john pass.txt but we have found an error uh, with which the password hash has loaded but no password is showing so we become the root user and enter it again so after waiting some time we got the password the password is tier 14 okay copy that password as you all know that we have something to note here there will be ftp anonymous login allowed and we go to ftp there will be again called a service called ssh right if ftp anonymous ftp is open then you can enter ftp space the ip address the next will be the ssh okay i am opening a new tab if ssh is open then the comment will be ssh username username will be the sunset at ip address at ip will be 192.168.29 and you can see 42 the ip address of the target machine when you enter ssh uh, the username at uh, ip address you can see an option to enter the password of sunset so the password we found um, entering the password and press the enter button so now we are inside this machine so we click into this machine and now we are inside this machine when you enter ls you can see a user.txt file in sunset's machine when you enter cat and the user.txt then you can view the file user.txt okay but the problem here we need to become a root user okay we need to become a root user and find a flag in this machine. Okay, to become a root user, I'm going to enter cd flash. So then ls. You can see a lot of files, a lot of directories here, right? So lots of directories. There will be root directory, right? So I'm entering cd space root. So the permission is denied. So we are not allowed to be a root user. So what we do next will be the privilege escalation method. Okay, when I enter sudo minus l, then as you can see, root. There will be privilege escalation supported, which is user bin ed. Note this, you can become a root user and you privilege escalate into this ed. Okay, to become a root user, you got something right by entering the sudo minus l command, you got root. How to become a root user idea okay as you can see there will be ed right ed so not that and the next step that we want to do what we want to do is go to a browser i am using the linux in built firefox browser okay okay then you have to go to a site i am uh, called gtfo bins gtfo bins okay when you go to gtfo bins as you can see user bin ed ed is the file by uh, file one that you have to note so you have to search in gtfo bins ed 
any search ed you can see this press click that ed okay there you can see a lot of things there will be sudo you can see sudo which is hash hash stands for the root user so there is a comment to become a root user you have to enter sudo ed first okay i'm copying this and pasting and the next thing that he that you want to enter is exclamatory slash bin slash sh okay i'm going to copy in this and paste here now you can see that which means you are now root user when you enter who am i you can see you are root okay when you enter ls you can see all the files so we have to open this root right so cd root and under that then you just open the root folder then you ls then you can see the flag that we need to okay that flag dot txt flag to find we got the flag guys so this is how i crank this mission i hope this video um, i hope this video is helpful for you guys thanks for watching have a nice day